Hello once again everybody, Steve Pelequin reviewing last week in Louisiana Raging Cajun Softball, the Cajun Sweep of Three Game Weekend Sunbell Conference Series from the Georgia State Panthers at Lamson Park and really they do it in impressive uh, fashion as the Cajuns win every game via the Mercy Rule. Louisiana wins game one 10 to one in six innings before capturing game two 10 to two in uh, six innings and then they win the final game of the series winning it by eight to nothing in five innings so the Cajuns now 30 and five overall on the season and uh, Louisiana now 13 and one at home and also 11 and one or make it 15 and three in Sunbelt Conference play and they maintain that lead over South Alabama atop the Sunbelt Conference standings uh, South Alabama uh, right now 11 and three in the league and of course uh, they are behind the Cajuns in term of in terms of a series but they also lost one game to the Cajuns plus Louisiana has the tiebreaker over them defeating South Alabama two out of three games in the opening conference series of the year at um, at Lamson Park but uh, again a very impressive weekend for the Cajuns they uh, they hit the ball and uh, against a very good Georgia State team. Now, it doesn't surprise me so much that the Cajuns hit the ball because uh, Georgia State does not have a um, does not have a really good what you would call uh, go to pitcher inside of the circle. Uh, they have a very good lineup. Their pitching staff leads a little bit to be desired. But when you look at Georgia State, when when, when you look at Ivy Drake, one of the top freshmen in in, in the entire league, when you look at uh, Lauren Coleman. Uh, one of the top first basemen in the Sun Belt Conference, and uh, you also look at Megan Latumbe, who is an, a tremendously impressive sophomore, one of the better sophomores in the entire country. Taylor Anderson, uh, their leadoff hitter, did not have a good weekend, but this is a team that can hit the ball. I mean, you look at what they did against South Alabama the weekend prior. Yes, they got swept, but they scored 21 runs, so it just goes to show you that they swing the bat against almost anybody, but right now they're riding an eight-game win streak, and they need a couple of wins to help get them back on track. Of course, a, a great weekend again by Lexi Elkins. You look at Elkins right now, and she's on track for another All-American campaign. She's batting a 420 with a 19 homers and 48 RBIs. She swung the bat really, really well over the weekend. How about Alex Stewart? Second consecutive weekend, Stewart pitches really good softball. She won two of the three games. Jordan Wallace won the other game. Stewart right now 8-0 with a 1.08 ERA. And, you know, right now uh, she's pitching well. She's giving Wallace and Hamilton a break. And, of course, that's going to do nothing but help the Cajuns as we roll along in this season. Uh, Wallace, of course, 12-2 on the year with a 1.82 ERA. And Hamilton uh, sits at 8-2 with a 2.37 ERA. So that pitching staff that we were talking about at the beginning of the year has, has started to take shape right now. Uh, the Cajuns are blessed to have three pitchers that they could turn to at pretty much any time this season. You know, there were a lot of people at the beginning of the year, well, who's going to pitch the first game? Who's going to pitch the second game? And, uh, you know, as we mentioned, as Coach Michael Lotif, who is absent from the team right now, of course, mentioned that, you know, that stuff is going to work itself out. And it's a good thing they have three pitchers because, uh, you know, nowadays in college softball, you almost have to have a pitching staff to get through an entire season. Cajuns, of course, back in action um, this weekend as they play host to the Baylor Bears. That'll be a single game on uh, Friday at 6 o'clock, a doubleheader Saturday at 1 o'clock as the Cajuns are away from Sunbelt Conference action this weekend. But again, a big week. A big weekend sweep for the Cajuns as they defeat Georgia State 10 to 1, 10 to 2, and 8 to nothing. For ESPN1420.com, I'm Steve Peloquin.